Okay, yo yo guys. Um, we are on our way to Hungary right now, but we're doing a German vlog because uh, we were quite busy on uh, Sunday. That's a poor excuse though because Danny was Danny had a baby and he still did his vlog. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> started off the weekend. Uh, we actually struggled. We struggled on Friday and Saturday. Um, I think as a team we did. To be honest, uh, we weren't that quick and we struggled with the hot weather. It was very hot in Germany as you must probably know by now, seeing about a thousand tweets from every F1 team about how hot it was. But um, it was really hot and uh, we just struggled because of, yeah, because it was, it doesn't really suit us. Unfortunately in qualifying, uh, I got to see Lando's rear wing for, for, my, for my lap uh, and that kind of put us out of contention. Um, so we couldn't get into Q3, but Looking back at it, it, it wasn't Lando's fault, it was just the way the, uh, the situation was with the, with the traffic in the last sector. Starting P16, we wanted something to happen, we wanted the rain, uh, and the, uh, the rain dance worked. And we, got a, uh, we got the rain we wanted, but um, it was my first time driving the way, so I was a little bit, <laughs> I was excited, but also, what's the word, not nervous, but just, yeah, nervous actually. I was lucky. Danny was was uh, Danny was right next to me, sat on the grid, so I had a bit of a chat with him. Asked him if he felt the same things as I felt, which was no grip, and uh, he said yes. He said welcome to Formula One. And the race went really, really well. We started okay. I think we. To be honest, I don't think I made up a position on the on the first lap, or maybe I did. Maybe one. Uh, and we, we boxed quite early for, for intermediates. That really worked out. We made up three or four positions from the, from the pit stop. And then uh, from then on, just kind of started to, to overtake everyone. And we were up to P9, P8 quite soon. Um, and then after that, pace was really good. And we were kind of catching the cars in front. Um, and even the cars behind were... Uh, Sorry, even the cars behind were were losing ground to us. So um, it was a uh, yeah really good race, and everyone started to go off in the famous turn 16, and we ended up P4 by mid race, which was absolutely crazy. And then Nico crashed, so we got back our fourth position, and we were running fourth three quarters into the race. So it was looking really really strong. So there was a crash, another safety car, one of many, and uh, it just meant that the cars behind um, went to slicks. We, we, we're in this position where, and it's completely I, understandable to me, is that we can't really risk going to slicks. You can imagine if we were running fourth position and then we took the risk to to go to the slick tyre and it didn't work, we would have thrown away a fourth position. So um, that wasn't really our intention. And I overtook Pierre and Kevin um, on the dry tyre and uh, finished my career best sixth position. So yeah, it was a good race, but you could understand maybe that I was a bit, uh, a little bit frustrated as well because we were running fourth for, some, for that long. All in all, really, really good result for the team, obviously. Third and, third and sixth, as I say this, we're heading into FP1. Um, it's Friday and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed for the weekend. Let's see how we go. It might be a, <laughs> We're hoping it'll be two happy vlogs in one vlog, but it might be a happy vlog and a sad vlog. We'll see. Okay, part two. Uh, just finished my race in Hungary. Uh, love this place, love the track, love the city. Um, yeah, it was quite a relaxed one, actually. We didn't have to do too many media things, so unfortunately for you guys, there's no extra bonus footage to uh, make us look like idiots <laughs> but um, yeah anyway uh, start from free practice we weren't that quick actually we struggled a bit um, I mean we expected it as well because we we knew this track um, wouldn't suit us too well in some places I mean historically speaking it does suit us but uh, with our car this year we, we I think uh, some tracks which didn't suit us previously suit us now and, and vice versa so uh, 
Yeah, um, struggled a bit in FP1 and FP2. Um, had the crash in FP2, which obviously is never good. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, silly mistake, misjudgment, actually. Uh, just one of those things when you're trying to find the extra couple hundreds in the lab, um, because that, that was looking very strong, but um, all for nothing. Uh, so anyway, we, we, we found a big step in FP2, even though we didn't do one lap. Um, and then moving on to FP3, to quali, uh, I struggled a bit with my rhythm, I think, maybe because of the crash, but uh, didn't feel comfortable with the car. Um, it was only really till quali that I started to feel back to normal again. Um, and we, we qualified P12. I think uh, Danny and I did the same lap time within within a hundredth, I think. I think it was like 5,000. So uh, I think that was really the best we could have done. Maybe a bit better if we polished up a little bit. Maybe if I did a bit better job from, had a bit more confidence after FP2. Um, you never know, but um, yeah, P12 I think was, looking at the whole weekend was, was we were happy with, with, with that. Um, starting the race, had a good start, but then uh, lost out in, into turn two and turn five. Uh, I lost the position to Perez um, and that was a bit frustrating. And on that whole first run, actually, I was struggling. I was struggling with the tyres. I didn't feel very comfortable with them. Um, I think a lot of it was because we were so close to the cars in the front for the whole stint that uh, these tyres, they overheat a lot. Um, and that was, that was kind of the case. Danny came close to me, uh, went for the overtake, and we had a, a pretty cool battle. I'm sure most of you have seen it on TV. Uh, good fun. It was nice that the team let us race. Um, I didn't realise how close we were. Um, and I was just imagining Franz in the corner of his, <laughs> in my head, just in the side over there. <laughs> just uh, if we touched, what would have happened? But um, no, we gave each other good room and uh, it was close, but it was, uh, it was a good racing, unfortunately. I lost out to that battle. Uh, Danny got the better of me there. Um, but yeah, it was, a good, it was a good fight. And then we stayed out uh, a little bit longer than, than most of the people around us on the, uh, on the hard tire. Uh, sorry, switching to the hard tyre and uh, the pace was very good. Caught Danny and Sergio up um, and my tyres felt in really good condition and they were. Um, we did a bit of management in the beginning of the stint and so towards the end we were flying. Um, it was a shame <laughs> they didn't put it on TV which I was gutted about because we had a good fight again, Danny and I, and then we had a, uh, an even better fight with Sergio for the final point uh, in P10. So. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's the way it is. Uh, a point in the, another point for the team, um, staying ahead of Renault and the constructors. That's that's all good, and uh, it's all looking good. Um, I think P10 was actually the best we could have done t this weekend, looking kind of at where we were compared to the midfield. Um, we still had quite a big gap to P9 in the race, so uh, I'm quite happy with the with the race. And uh, yeah. Summer break um, will be spent in the lovely town of Milton Keynes. <laughs> there won't be much to do. I'll be in bed, sleeping in most days, I imagine. And then I'm gonna, with Danny and I, we're gonna hopefully go karting on the second week. Uh, we'll find a day. Uh, yeah, um, I think we'll go around uh, Lake Garda. So uh, that's pretty much it. Subscribe, subscribe button for the summer break. If you guys are bored and you're looking for and you're missing F1 and there's nothing to do, um, make sure to follow all our latest videos. I'm getting good at this. And then subscribe to... Ah, ah I know. <laughs> right there. Get, get, the, uh, get that Casio branding in. Go. Cool. Okay. Peace, peace.